Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to the latest tutorial in our series. This time we'll be looking at dashboards. A dashboard is a kind of reporting function within CRM which allows the user to select certain widgets of charts, views, iframes or web resources which can be displayed in one central location which gives an overview of the data within CRM. Now a dashboard is essentially a page which is made up of widgets of information which can be charts, views, you can also include iframes and web resources if you wish to. There are quite a few dashboards available out of the box within CRM and dashboards are available within most areas of CRM. For example, if I'm in the sales area, you will see there's a tile for dashboards and if I click on that, that will show me a series of dashboards relating to the sales area. If I go to service, again, there is an option for dashboards and clicking on that would give me an option to see all of the dashboards available within the service area. Also, if we click on the home button, we are taken to a dashboard because this is the way we've set it up. We're taken to a dashboard called the sales activity social dashboard. This is a dashboard made up of a few widgets. On the left hand side, we have a widget which is made up of a chart showing the sales pipeline for my open opportunities and I can see various information. So I can see the value of the potential orders that I have. I can also see what stage they're at in the sales process. So I can see that I have £25,000 worth of potential business which is at the qualify stage. I have £30,000 of in potential custom which is at the develop stage and £36,000 of potential custom at the proposed stage. You will also notice that these elements of the chart are clickable but I'll look at that in a bit more detail when we're looking at our next dashboard. On this dashboard we also have the sales activity social wall which shows me all of the activities and posts and information that relate to potential sales within our system. On the right hand side I can also see the information relating to the opportunities and contacts that I have chosen to follow and again these are interactive. If I click on the opportunities for example, it will show me a view of all of the opportunities I have chosen to follow and keep an eye on. Scrolling down on this dashboard, there are also charts which show leads by source. So I can see which of my leads came from which sources. I can see my open opportunities, the top ones, based on estimated revenue. I can also see on the right hand side the top customers that I have gained custom from. And scrolling down slightly, underneath that we also have a list view of all of my activities. You may notice as well, beside my activities we have a view selector. So if we click on that, I can also choose to look at all activities or I can choose to look at closed activities. So a dashboard is a good central location to show all of the information that each user uses on a day-to-day -day basis. Dashboards can also be created by users for their own use and shared with other users. To show you an example of that, I'm going to change the dashboard we're looking at to Sales Manager Dashboard, which you will notice appears under My Dashboards. It's not a system dashboard, this is one that I have made and I have access to it personally. I can choose to share it with others or I can decide to keep it to myself. Let's have a look at it. And you can see this dashboard is made up of four charts across the screen. On the left hand side we have the sales pipeline which relates to all open opportunities. In the last dashboard it was my opportunities but in this dashboard it shows all opportunities no matter who the owner is. In the second chart we can see the sales leaderboard so we can see which salespeople are closing the most opportunities. We can then see a comparison of deals won versus deal lost and we can see that by owner and we can also see the values. And on the right hand side we have chosen to include a chart which shows the list of open leads and it's based on one who the owner is and two how many leads there are. Scrolling down slightly as well we have chosen to show a view of activities and we've called that the to-do list. We have a view selector so we can choose to look at open activities or we can choose to look at my activities. And everything within a dashboard is interactive. For example, looking at the view of the to-do list. If I want to look at this task in particular, I can click on it and that will take me through to the task record, allowing me to work on it. Let's go back to the dashboard. And we'll look at the interactive nature of the charts themselves. So for example, I'm going to look at the sales leaderboard. And I can see that Max Marshall is our best salesman of the last period because he has the most sales. So let's have a look at the information there. So holding my mouse over his part of the chart, I can see that the actual revenue generated by his closed opportunities is £420,000. But I want to see that in a bit more detail. I want to drill down on that. So I double click and it'll ask me 
what is it that I'm interested in? Well, I want to see that £420,000. How is that broken down by contact? I want to see who Max has sold to. So I click on contact, hit next, and there we go. I can see £200,000 of that business was with Florence McKenzie. £200,000 of that business was with Elvis Merrill. And £20,000 of that revenue was with Tanya Durham. If I want, I can click on that and go into a bit more detail. I'm happy with it. So what we can do is if I'm happy to go back, I click the back button, we can go back to original chart. Let's have a look at hard deeps. Who has he sold to? I can see he has sold to Vladimir Ferrell and Jocelyn Hickman. Now let's say I want to see in a bit more detail. I can choose to pop out the chart so it's a bit clearer on my screen. Or I can also view the records that are used to generate that chart. So if I click that, I will see that listed in view form here on the left hand side. So I can see that there are the two records, one by Hardeep. I can also see the original graph that that came from. I want to do the same with Max, so let's go back, open his information, contact. And if I pop that out, we can see the same information, except it relates to Max. And we can see that actually Max also lost a sale in that period. What you may notice on the screen as well is the export to Excel function, which is very useful if you are the type of organization who does use Excel quite often. So let's go ahead and export that to an Excel spreadsheet show you how easy that is. Click one button. I want to keep it as a static worksheet. So I'm going to export. There is our spreadsheet. Let's open that and have a look. And we can see there is the information in the spreadsheet. If you wish to, you can also turn this into a chart using the Excel functions. I want to look at that as a pie chart. Hit OK. And there we go. There it is the same information in a different type of graph as done through Excel. Or if you want to see it in much the same way, Let's look at that in a bar chart. And we can see there are the three sales won by Max and there is the one lost. Now if we go back to our dashboard, and as I discussed earlier, this is a personal dashboard that is only available to me. It's not a system dashboard. This is a personal one. If I want to make that available to other users, all I simply need to do is click share dashboard and it will ask me to add a user or team. So I'll do a lookup. I want to share this with one of the sales managers. Let's share that with Ian. And let's also share it with Rachel. Hit select, add. I can also give them different levels of access. So they both have read access out of the box, but I want to also allow Rachel to share that with others. So I click that, click share, and now when Rachel and Ian log in, Rachel will see this dashboard in her list of my dashboards. Ian will also see it, but when Ian logs in, he will not have the share dashboard icon. That is the power of dashboards. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you're interested in any other kind of information, please follow us on Twitter, like our video, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd be interested in a free trial, simply click on the link, or please subscribe to our playlist. Thank you.